Wakey, wakey, smell those eggs and bakey. It's time for Breakfast Talk, a podcast discussing current, independent, and mainstream entertainment topics from gaming and movies to comics. Start your week off right with the Breakfast Boys. As always, if you can smell what we're cooking, click that like button. And if your tummies are rumbling for more, click subscribe and ring that brecky bell to turn on all notifications. All right, let's talk. I think that was the right intro that time. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's hilarious because, like, it's the one time Hector's not here. We get the right intro. Hector's not here. Uh, I don't know if he's having internet issues. He's. I, I know. I can't even hold Buttercat now. Yeah, he's, he's just out of reach. I don't know what's up with him today, but it's, it's okay. So, uh, before we get started, please like, share, subscribe. Um, Please comment on the video. That's literally one thing that I would like is to see comments on our videos. That's one thing we haven't gotten that much of yet. So that'd be awesome. Uh, we're going to jump in with Dylan first um, of what he's got going on. And uh, we'll go yeah. Nice. So, yeah, and video games, since that is what we are talking about. Um, so there's some new games coming out in September that I was checking out. Uh, NBA 2K22 uh, is coming out, so people are pretty excited about that. I'm not a huge N- NBA fan, but <laughs> you know, it's our NBA 2K fan. But for all those sports fanatics out there, that'll be dropping September 10th. Um, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot will be coming out September 24th for the Nintendo Switch, which is kind of awesome uh, for those who uh, decided to not get a PlayStation 5. And by that, I mean, like, you tried forever and just never got one. Uh, So that's kind of cool. So I'm hoping you guys can enjoy that. Um, And Sonic Colors, which is, like, the latest Sonic game coming out, is coming out for uh, Nintendo Switch September 7th and apparently also Xbox. I don't know... If I'm just like late to the game, but I thought that like Sega was kind of exclusive to Nintendo for a while, so and kind of interesting that it's coming out for Xbox. Um, yeah, so that's it for the the new game drops, and uh, basically there's like there's a bunch coming out, but I, I just kind of looked through the list and I'm like these are the only things that sound interesting to me, so that's what I'm checking out. So if you want if you want to see more, just you know check that out. Uh, the other one too is I was kind of just checking out, and you know, we're about a little more than halfway through the year. Uh, I wanted to see, like, what are the, the top indie games that are playing in, uh, what's it called, uh, like, Twitch and being streamed and all of that. And it's crazy because even though it seems like it was quite a long time ago, Among Us and Fall Guys are still on, like, the top of that list of games that are being played that are indie games. So, obviously, those are the indie game titles, so it's not a, it's not a Call of Duty's in competition with them. But it's kind of interesting that, uh, you know, those are still up there. And another one that I've seen a while ago, I haven't, I've only played it like once or twice, and it's very fun if anyone's ever played it. Um, I, I don't know if it even has a name. It's like the Goose Game, where basically you're a goose in a garden, and you just keep fucking with the farm guy. Like, he's, like he turns his back, and then you just start like dragging equipment away. And then he turns around, and he's like, oh, what's going on? And like the goal is just to like move stuff around and like not have him notice. So it's kind of, kind of funny how uh, <laughs> like that just plays out. And it's... I don't, I don't know if I consider this an indie game anymore, but for some reason, this is still actually coming up as one of the top streamed indie games, which is Rocket League, which obviously I've mentioned a bunch of times on here because it is, in fact, the number one game that's ever been made. Uh, because even if you're a huge Call of Duty fan, every single Call of Duty fan at some point is like, man, that game, like, nobody likes you. And uh, I'm going to go get Battlefield because Call of Duty sucks. And then Battlefield comes out and you play that for a while. And then the new Call of Duty comes out and you're like, oh, I should get it. <laughs> so... For anybody uh, who's like that, um, switch to Rocket League. It's better. And then when you get mad at it, then you go play Call of Duty. So you can get mad at that get back to Rocket League, which is where you're supposed to be. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's it for video game news. Greg, take it away. Um, so saying Shang-Chi, well, saying, um, Shang-Chi actually broke like a box office record for Labor Day weekend. Um, and the weekend's not even over with. Um, 83 that's pretty gnarly. Five million dollars. Uh, that's pretty awesome because it's over nine thousand. What nine thousand? There's no way that could be right. Saying he's like the strongest Avenger now or whatever. So 
like he's not going away anytime soon. So I still have to watch it. I know, I think Hector went to go see it on Thursday um, as I was editing. the Maybe live. his mind exploded. Maybe that's why. I thought. Yeah. <laughs> or he's like, he was trying to learn some martial arts and he broke a leg or something. And now he's just unable to get to his computer. And now he's like Danny. <laughs> Terrible at martial arts. Yeah. <laughs> um, Another bit of news, uh, Charlie Cox, people know him as Daredevil. Uh, he is still shooting down rumors of being in No Way Home. <laughs> it's really sad. Dude, I, just, I just hope that he continues to shoot them down, and at some point someone is just like, okay, we got to put him in here. Like, <laughs> like, clearly the people have spoken. Like, like uh, Akira Toriyama, when it came to Dragon Ball Z back in the day, uh, Goku was supposed to die and Gohan was supposed to take over as like, the main character. And he's talked about how basically his fans were not cool with that. And so he just switched his own yeah. story up to bring Goku back. It's like, let's do that with this. Like, let's, let's get Daredevil in, in, in No Way Home. That's what I want to yeah. see. I want to see him, even if he's in the background for a second. Like, that's all I want. Just yeah. like, but it's so I weird because I home. did see, I did see something else that said that Daredevil is getting is a liar. <laughs> yeah, Daredevil is getting its own Disney Plus series, so I kind of yeah. figured that honestly, like that yeah. makes sense. So uh, it's gonna get a little Disney five. I hope Luke Cage gets one too. Yeah, um, and Iron Fist could probably get a different actor, but <laughs> <laughs> oh no, um, he died. Oh, oh, it's a variant. <laughs> what will happen? <laughs> yeah, but um, oh, a different universe. <laughs> So uh, before we all wrap this up, we do have a buy me a coffee. Um, if you go to buymeacoffee.com slash Sierra Nova Comics. Um, you That's can where buy, you can buy us a coffee. Yeah, buy As us you a can coffee. See, $5 for one. My, you, my, you can buy, my, you know. My, my coffee's it. running low. One second. I can't. Hey, cup is, there Look, it's almost empty. Yeah. I need more coffee. Give, give, um, give me coffee. If you you don't even have to sign up for a subscription, we do have two subscriptions. Uh, I said we said last time that we're gonna make a video for that at some point. We're probably gonna make it soon. Um, I have some updated cool software now, so I can actually make things that are cool. Um, once I figure it out, can you teach me to football? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, buymeacoffeecom slash Uh You can even go in the description of the video if you're on YouTube and click the link because it'll be there. It's been in the last however many videos we've had one. I think the description will be over here. Yeah, yeah, that way. 